Hey y'all, Rick Fearless Fairless, Strokers Dallas, Strokers Ice House, Punchwally Garage. Good morning. How you doing? You alright? Today is Wednesday, February 28th, 2024, year of our Lord, season number two, episode number 59. In today's show, we will talk about my mom moved away, new curtains, and Saturday Night Live. Let's go. In my life, the 366 Project, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine goes back to 1975. We are coming to you almost live from almost downtown Dallas. In 1975, my brother and I graduated high school. Well, about that time, we were living with our mom and her husband, Bill Hines. Interesting character. So, my mom said right after we graduated, somewhere in there, we had gone to California, come back, Mom said, Bill Hines and I are moving to Freeport, Texas, which is south of Galveston on the coast. You boys are welcome to come with us, or you can get an apartment. Well, we'd never had an apartment. Mom found us an apartment. She made us some curtains, homemade curtains. Mom made us some curtains for that crummy little apartment. And my brother and I moved into it. Well, it wasn't too much longer that my mom and Bill Hines were in Freeport for a while. And Bill Hines left to go to work and never came back. So what it wound up being was he was embezzling money from Briggs Weaver. He was like the general manager of one of the stores. He was embezzling money from Briggs Weaver, and he left. I guess they were on to him. They found his car at the Houston airport, and my mom never saw the guy or heard from him again. She had to have him pronounced dead to get a divorce. Why? What is this, a TV show? He was a, a good guy, seemingly. When he would come home from work, he would put on a robe and his house shoes, and he would drink martinis. Smoke these little cigarettes. He didn't hold the cigarette here. He held it in the tip of his... He was a very refined man. I guess he was refined, and he lived pretty high on the hog on the embezzlement money. My brother and I have often wondered... Do you think the guy's dead? Or do you think he's on an island somewhere in the Fuji? In Fuji. What is Fuji? Fuji is a friend of mine married to Sugar Bear. Isn't there some Fuji Islands? Maybe Bill Hines is in them Fuji Islands somewhere. Drinking them martinis wearing his bathrobe. So that was our first apartment. And that was the curious tale of Bill Hines. I don't know whatever happened to him, but it was a strange case. All right, let's check that chuck. Check that chuck, you big old. Woo, hey, look at that, man. What you got there, boy? Well, I don't like to brag, but check these out. See, so these are some warm. Yes, it's. Turn chilly today and tomorrow. They got green with the white stitching, white gold and black logo, white to white so invisible racing stripes, two fake vent holes, black shoe strings, one eye down, double knotted for safety. Hmm. These are, say it with me, y'all, these are some handsome chucks. Hey, you want to take a look around my office while we're here? Let's do it. Let's go stand in the corner, see? So 
this is what people see when they walk into my office. We're going to take a little view. And the thing is, everything here has a story. Some of this stuff, quite a bit of it, is stuff that people send me. People know that I like anything 50s, 60s, 70s, you know, old stuff. So people send me stuff, and I really appreciate it. It finds a home here in my office. Yes, I know, it's pretty crazy. It's my Lifetime Achievement Award given to me by Gary Queen. Huh? What do you think? Okay. Okay, let's get back to here. Hey, I'm making myself dizzy. Stop that. Stop that. That's my office. Southern slang. That boy's like a fly in my ointment. Well, that ain't good. Dad joke. I'll call you later. Don't call me later. Call me dad. Stroker's Dallas merch. Check this out. So these are the sought after women's hoodie. So here's the front. Got the little pockets. Here's the back. And this hoodie is the softest thing you've ever felt. So this has got the women's cut to it. See how it curves in there? So we sell these very fast and we just gotta load in. Strokers Dallas Merch, M-E-R-C-H dot com. Get off the couch and motivational minute. The best index to a person's character is how they treat people that can't do them any good. People who can't fight back. What does that mean, Mr. Fairless? That means, sure, everybody treats the boss good and everybody treats the big shots good. How do you treat that waiter? How do you treat that delivery guy? Because you need to treat them just as good as you do anybody else, maybe even better. Because they're hard-working people. And that's the character of a man or a woman, is how do you treat, how do you treat people, all people? Let's bump that up a notch and try to treat people the way that you want to be treated. Okay, if you got any questions about anything you saw in my office, you know, you can stop it and look and all that. You can email me, rick at strokersdallas.com. Okay, I'm going to leave you with this. Did you know Jim Carrey, one of the funniest guys on the planet, auditioned to be a cast member for Saturday Night Live several times, but was never hired? What's up with that? Speaking of that, and that! boys and girls, is the rest of the story. I can't imagine Jim Carrey auditioning for Saturday Night Live and not being selected. As funny as he is, his facial expressions, he's just a very funny dude. Okay, Rick Fearless Fairless. Don't call me later. Call me dad. I got to go. Love you. Bye. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.